It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, May 20th. I'm James Spann. We still have a humid air mass in place today. We could see a few scattered showers and storms this afternoon or tonight. But hey, we turn cooler and drier tomorrow and Friday. Let's check it out. Another trough in the west lifting out more severe weather problems in North Texas and Oklahoma yesterday and last night. And they've got some flooding problems this morning. That was the radar from Fort Worth at 5.08. All kind of flash flood warnings for North Texas, north of Dallas and Fort Worth. They've had some big, big rains overnight and, and some tornadoes in that region last night. But around here, it's nice and quiet as the day begins. We're starting off in the 60s. Look at Fort Payne, though. They've got uh, 59. We'll expect a high in the mid-80s today. To the west, flash flood watches and many flash flood warnings in effect for parts of Texas, North Texas, and South Oklahoma. Up north, look at all the frost and freeze warnings in effect. It's still cold up there. And uh, parts of central Alabama with a dense fog advisory. That'll burn off fairly soon. To the west, the standard slight risk of severe weather today and tonight for parts of west Texas. We do note a marginal risk into the western half of Alabama. As a, a surface boundary drops in here, there could be a few strong storms, but organized severe weather not expected. Tomorrow couple of risks well to the east and west and on day three friday a marginal risk over parts of west texas but look at those big rains again this pattern has just been a drought buster in recent weeks for parts of texas and oklahoma very beneficial rain around here rain uh, for the next five days about one half inch and this is valid through monday morning all right model fans the gfs the 06e run valid today at one o'clock local time you can see one uh, trough lifting out across the upper Midwest, a new one digging down into California. That's a pattern we've seen here in recent weeks. Uh, down below that, a surface front is north of the state. Let's go to the high-res HRRR, 2 o'clock today. That looks actually pretty wet. Uh, so we'll clearly need to mention a chance of scattered showers and storms as early as this afternoon. This is tonight at 11, coming off the... High-res NAM, and that should be the last batch of showers and storms on the surface front. And, you know, we could use some rain here. In April, we had over 10 inches. This month, we've only had about a third of an inch for the first 19 days. And then tomorrow, getting to a very refreshing air mass. Boy, the GFS has dropped the high to only 72 in Birmingham. The NAM is at 79. The truth is probably somewhere in between. We'll need to drop the highs back in the 70s with a good north breeze. And Friday morning is going to feel good. Uh, both models have us down to 55 in Birmingham. I think no doubt some of the cooler valleys up in North Alabama could see lows in the 40s. Don't see that too often in May. Just a beautiful day. Hey, it's a holiday weekend. The unofficial beginning of summer. It's Memorial Day. And this is Saturday. The weather still looks great. Sunny with a high in the mid-80s. Sunday, the deeper moisture is west of the state. There could be an afternoon shower somewhere, but I think most of the day will be dry. Again, mid-80s likely. And Memorial Day, maybe a few scattered showers and storms by afternoon, but no washout kind of thing. Here's Tuesday of next week. We stand a moist, muggy air mass. We'll have a chance of scattered showers and storms. And a week from today, this is Wednesday, May 27th. Still got that uh, ridge over South Florida. Another trough in the southwest United States, another one lifting out toward the Great Lakes, and no real change here. A warm, muggy, maybe a few spots getting a passing shower or storm. This is the end of the forecast, the end of next week. This is Friday, May 29th. Again, we've got a flat ridge, and again, weather pretty dull. Temperatures for the next 15 days. Look at those numbers coming down tomorrow and Friday. That's looking pretty good all of a sudden, and then they go back up with highs back around 90 as June begins. And it's the same deal on an average basis as we get into early June with the ridging over the east. Temperatures over the eastern U.S. stay above average and then below average values off to the west. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, one video per day today because of graduation tonight. Uh, we'll go back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. And uh, Megan will be covering for me this evening on ABC 3340 News. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.